If you're a developer or you build websites for clients and you're not also handling the hosting as well, you're missing out on a huge stream of revenue. I watched this video by Living With Pixels recently and he, he makes a couple good points, but overall, for the most part, I just, I disagree with him. He talks about how you shouldn't handle domains or hosting for any of your clients, just because it's, it's another thing that you have to do, it's another thing that can go wrong, and I 100% completely disagree with him. Right now, I have over 75 clients that I manage all of the hosting for. And the reason that I do this is because it makes me over a thousand dollars a month in pure, completely passive income. And the reason that I say it's completely passive is because I'm not exaggerating. On any given month, I spend maybe, maybe 30 minutes dealing with clients, managing their website, making tweaks, little changes here. For the most part, I do nothing. Once the website is set up, running, ready to go, it really is passive. Okay, so jumping into this video, in order to have a website, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a domain name and you're also going to need hosting. If you're not a big nerd like me, in, in simple terms, a domain name is just the name of your website. So facebook.com or google.com. This is the name that people are gonna type into the browser in order to find your website. The second thing you're gonna need is hosting. And I, I could get super technical, but just in layman's terms, hosting is where your website lives. Any website that you hit is located on a server. Uh, typically it's a public server located in a sub big data center somewhere with a bunch of other websites. Websites. Now you can have public servers, you can have private servers. Let's say I have a private server. I would never want to put my website on a private server because then nobody could access my website. The point of having a website is so that other people can find it. And so you need to put your website on a public server. Now that public server, essentially what you have to do is you have to pay your rent for the internet. You're just paying a small monthly fee to be able to keep your website right there. And typically speaking, I mean, it's it's really inexpensive. It's about four to $5 a month. And then also a domain name, is very, very inexpensive. In most cases, it's about $12 a year or a dollar a month. So for the domain and the hosting, if you if you go with one of the super cheap companies, you can pretty much have a website for about $5 a month. Now that's on the cheap end. Of course, if you need lots of crazy uh, speed, lots of crazy disk space, you know, there's, there's different tiers that can go up from there. But like I said, for the most part, you can get a website for about $5 a month. Okay, now this is where I disagree with that other video that I referenced earlier. In that video, he says you should let your clients deal with all of the domains and the hosting themselves. That way, everything is 100% on them. So if there's any problems with the domains or with the hosting, it's, it's it's not on you, it's not your fault. Now, I, I kind of understand that. I, I get what he's he's talking about. If you're a web developer or a designer, you may not necessarily want to deal with the technical side of things, but I promise you it's not that difficult and it makes a lot of additional passive income that you're probably missing out on right now. There, there's a reason why most of my clients come to me in the first place and why they stick with me. That reason is that they don't understand the technical details. They don't know the nitty gritty, how things work, how it's connected, and they don't want to know. They don't care. They all, all they really care about is they just, they're a company, they're a business, they know that they need a website, and they want you to take care of it for them. Obviously, that's why I have this business. I wanna take care of that for clients because it's a need. And so obviously I'm going to charge for those services. So I'm not charging $5 a month for hosting. Instead, I'm charging 15, 20, 35, 50, sometimes 75, depending on the client. My goal is to be a complete one-stop shop for all of my clients. They can come to me and say, Bryce, I need a website. They said, great, I will take care of the domain, I'll take care of the hosting, I'll take care of the development, I'll take care of the upkeep, I will do everything, just pay me the monthly fee and it'll be done. Now that sounds like a lot, but I promise you, it's really not. So as far as the hosting goes, I am my own hosting provider. I know a lot of people will go to HostGator or Bluehost or all these different companies that are out there to build their website or to host their website. The thing though is I rent my own server and it's not that difficult, it's not that expensive, and it's not as complicated as it sounds. I spend anywhere, it's typically about $30 a month to rent this server, and then on that single server, I put as many websites on there as I want. 
when I was first starting out doing this, I didn't have a $30 a month server. I was like at $10 a month. But as I've gotten more clients, I've needed more space and more power. And so I've kind of ramped that up. But you can start doing this, I'm, I'm serious, for about $10 a month. You rent a server and you can throw as many websites on there as you want. And now, like, like I mentioned before, I don't charge the four to $5 a month that they could find by going elsewhere. I charge $35 or 50 or 75 because they're paying me for a service that I'm providing them. I'm not trying to compete with these other guys. I can't stay in business for $5 a month per website. If that's what they want, then they can go to somebody else, but I'm providing a service where they don't have to know any of the technical details, any of the nitty gritty. I take care of all of it for them. Now with just one single client, one website that I host, I cover all of my expenses. I cover the server rental, and then every additional client above and beyond that is pure profit in my pocket. So I've got one client that pays $35 a month, great. My server is paid for. As soon as I get client number two, that's money in my pocket. If you're curious to hear more about how I do this, how I rent the server, I've built out a playlist for free. You can see it here on YouTube. I'll link it right here. It goes step by step by step how to buy a server, how to rent a server, how to set everything up, how to add websites, how to deal with billing, you name it. Check it out right here. And it's, I promise you, it's not that difficult. It's so easy and it really is an incredible source of passive income. Okay, now going back to domains, this is kind of where I I agree or maybe disagree. I've, I've had clients that have kind of done everything underneath the sun. I've had clients who have come to me and say, hey Bryce, I already have my own domain. Can you work with that? I say, yes, that's great. I've also had clients on the other side who say, Bryce, I don't know what a domain name is. I know I need one. Will you take care of it for me? So this is my thought on domain names. I personally, I, I'm not able to mark up domain names very much money. Where they're only $12 a year, then I can maybe mark it up 20%. So maybe I can make a dollar or two per month per domain. It's There's really not that much money in it. It's not worth it to me to try and make any money off of these. If a client doesn't know what a domain is and they want me to buy their domain, I'll buy it and then I'll just wrap it into their monthly hosting fee. So it's kind of behind the scenes. They don't even see it. If I had my choice though, I would for the most part, let a client buy their own domain name. The reason for that is because one, they handle all the billing. So when that comes due every year, they just take care of it. But two, the domain name is kind of the gateway into their business. Let's say for example, that a client comes to me and they're so unhappy with my service. They are like, they're so angry. They want to move away. Let's say I own their domain. Now I have to deal with an angry client. I have to transfer their domain all the while they're upset with me. And then there's a transfer fee and all this kind of stuff. I just don't want to deal with it. If they own the domain name from the get go, they can choose where to point that, that domain name to which server that points to. So if I've got my domain name over here, I've got my hosting right here, my server, if these two were connected, but they own the domain, let's say later on, they want to sever that connection. They can take that domain and point it to a different server over here. And then that's great because now they're in charge. I am completely out of the picture. If they want to move away from my hosting, which has never happened, I've never had a client be upset with my hosting, but if they wanted to, they have the keys to the kingdom and they can do that. So that's my opinion. I think that clients should handle their own domains, but I think you should take care of the hosting because it's a really good source of income. If you're not handling the hosting, I think you're missing out on a huge, huge opportunity to make passive income for months or years in the future. Again, be sure to check out the playlist that I'll link here and down in the description below, talking about how I host those servers and how you can use it to make money for yourself. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.